It's me, Andrew. You already know how to use existing variables. Now I'll show you how to create and use your own variables. Creating variables can be needed when you need to set your own limits for speed, time, distance, calibrate sensors, create a counter, and so on. There are several ways to create a variable. You can use var initialization block or use the global vars tab in the EasyLogic interface. Initialization block creates a variable and writes the desired value into it at the moment when your algorithm is running through that block. Let's enhance our current algorithm to send SMS messages each time when the ignition state is changed to opposite. For that, we will need a new action – send SMS. We set telephone number and text for each option. It's done. Now, when algorithm runs through any of these blocks, the tracker will send corresponding messages. However, with current settings, the tracker will send SMS each second. I will show you now how to send SMS once when the state is changing. The logic is simple. Algorithm should check what message it has already sent, so it doesn't send it again. For that, we'll use the var initialization. For example, we'll create a variable called flag. Flag equal to 1 will mean that last SMS was about ignition turned on. Flag equal to 2 – about ignition turned off. The variable we created can now be used from the variables list in the algorithms group. Now, to check that we do not repeat any of the messages, we'll create extra conditions to compare the flag to 1 or 2. If the condition is true, we continue checking if anything changed. No SMS sent. If it's false, that means the message wasn't sent yet, and the algorithm will send an SMS. It's done! Now the tracker will send one SMS and change the flag variable each time ignition state is changing. Now I'll show a quick way to use global vars tab and make the flag values more easy to understand. We'll exchange numbers 1 and 2 for simple phrases – ignition on or ignition off. For that, we use the plus button in the global vars tab and create two new variables – ignin on with value 1 and ignin off with value 2. Now, we simply use these variables in conditions and initialization blocks instead of numbers. In this way, the algorithm becomes much easier for understanding for any user. That's what's called rule of common decency in programming, when variables with easy-to-know user-friendly names are used instead of letters or numbers out of context. You learned what types of variables can be used in EasyLogic, how to use existing ones and create your own. Follow the link below to learn how to control outputs to create algorithms with even more functionality.